Hello world and welcome to this edition of Tech on Fire with Blaze. I'm Blaze Stewart, an architect at Winelec, and today we're going to be looking at how to host a website on Azure Blob Storage. For the last two episodes on Tech on Fire, we've looked at Azure Blob Storage. And in the first one, we looked at how you can use Blob Storage with AZ Copy to create a simple backup solution. And last time, we looked at how you can use Blob Views with Blob Storage to create a mount inside of a Linux VM and how you can use that for all kinds of applications, such as file sharing, which we did last time. Today, we're going to be looking at how you can use Azure Blob Storage to host a website on Azure. Now, just to review, Azure Blob Storage is simply a storage mechanism in the cloud for storing all kinds of data. It really doesn't care what kind of data you stick in there. It can be the output of an application or it can be a file. Regardless of what kind of data you put out there, it just simply writes it to a blob on the storage account that you create. And then that can be accessed over the internet by way of an API. And since Azure Blob Storage is a web-based technology, it makes sense that you could use it for a static website. Now, what we mean by a static website is a website where the content is generated and then you upload it to the host and then the host just sends that content that is, as is back to the host browser. So there's no back-end processing that goes on with the files that you upload. So there's no scripting involved here. You can still upload things like JavaScript to blob storage but all of that execution of that javascript is executed within the context of the browser there's nothing on the server that is happening other than a request being made for a particular file such as a html file a css file javascript file or an image of some kind and then that file gets returned back to the client's browser and then displayed in that browser or rendered in that browser appropriately for the particular file that was requested so with this it makes it very easy to create a local cost, easy to use option for hosting websites on Azure. And that's what we're going to demo today. So here on my file system on my local box, I have a site I generated using an app called Jalbum, which generates basically an online gallery of images. And if I open up this index.html, it's just going to display a very basic website that shows you a couple of images here. So I can click on any one of these images and just click through them in a basic gallery. So this is a very basic website, but I can upload this to Azure Blob Storage to demonstrate how you can use Blob Storage to host a static website. I'm here in the Azure portal, so I can come over here and add in a resource to this, and that's going to be a blob storage account. Well, just a general purpose storage account, and then I'm going to be using blob storage. So I'm going to type in storage account here and look for that, and it'll even correct my spelling mistake sometimes. I'm going to click create on this, and I'm going to use the resource group called blob demo, um, and I need to give it a name. I'm going to call it Blaze website for this particular demo. And I'm going to take the defaults on most of this, except I'm going to select local redundant storage since I don't really need uh, geo redundant storage for this. And I want it to be hot rather than cool because this is for a website that's going to be read often. Now that I have that, I'm going to hit next. I can leave the defaults here. This is just some, some security settings as well as uh, a data lake gen two, which we'll talk about in a future video what that is. And uh, then I can don't need to tag it. And then I can hit review and create and go ahead and create this storage account. Well, it'll take a couple of seconds. So once this is done, we'll come back. My storage account is, is deployed now. Now I can come over here to the actual storage account. And notice I have all the services enabled here. I'm going to come down here and select static website under settings to create the static website that I want to use to host this website that I have. So I'm going to enable this and then I'm going to type in index.html for the root document and then error.html for an error document in the event that there is something like a 404 error and it can't find something. So the index is the root document in the event that somebody just types in the domain name without anything after the slash, the trailing slash, it will go to this document and load it, which would be the, the homepage for my little gallery that I created on this demo. So I'm gonna hit save, and then that will enable the actual Blob Storage to use uh, the 
static website with the primary endpoint being this URL here. So with that enabled, uh, this, uh, this container is created now. And so if I come over here to this container, uh, there's nothing in it, but everything is going to be relative to this container now. So this is the root of my website. So I need to upload stuff to this website. Now there's two ways I can do this. I can do this in the portal or I can do it through storage Explorer. Now to get to Azure storage Explorer, I can either just open it on my desktop or I can use a shortcut that's created for me. If I come back over here to the overview for my storage account, I have this option to open and explore. If I open this, I can download storage Explorer from this link here, or I can simply click on this open Azure storage Explorer, And that should take me directly to this storage account here. And then if I expand blob storage containers, I have this web container here, and this is where I want to upload my static website to. So now with this, I should be able to uh, drag and drop the contents of this folder into Storage Explorer right here and upload this using Azure Storage Explorer. So we'll come back whenever this finishes uploading. Now that I have everything up and loaded on my storage account, I can come back down here to my storage account in the Azure portal, and I can come back down here to that static website option, and then click copy this, and then let's open up a new tab, and then paste that in to the tab. And here is my uh, little website I created using Jalbum, the same one that I showed you at the beginning of this demo. And as you can see, it's running inside of a browser against that storage account URL right there. And everything is relative to that. Uh, root level there. So with this, I have created just a simple static website. Now, there's some things I would need to do to make this more viable if I wanted to use this as a more general purpose website. I wanted to, in other words, I wanted to use it like with a custom domain. You can use custom domains with uh, Azure websites um, with a blob storage account, or you can uh, front end it with something like an Azure CDN, or you could put something like Cloudflare in front of it and then have SSL uh, encryption and things like that in front of your website so that you can do things like secure uh, the connection between the server and the end user and also prevent against things like DDoS and other types of attacks like that. So there's a lot of options you can do to extend this beyond just hosting the website. But for now, this little demo shows you how easy it is to set up a website on Azure to host static content simply using Azure Blob Storage Explorer and a few of the tools that are available within the context of Azure Blob Storage in general. So until next time, thanks for watching this edition of Tech on Fire with Blaze. If you like this content, please consider visiting us online at www.wintelect.com and there you can find about services that Wintelect offers including training and consulting services. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to get notifications when new content becomes available and also comment down below. You can also follow me on Twitter at the one mule and also follow Wintelect on Twitter at Wintelect now or at Wintelect. We are constantly posting things about Azure related technologies and things related to software development. You can also reach us by email at consulting at Until next time, thank you.